Hello everybody, it's Mark here, or Mark OP, and today guys, I'm playing in a single player world. And I set up this factions base um, that I'm probably going to be using on pvp.thearchon.net. I didn't play today, I didn't play on the faction on the Archon today, because I wanted to test it. But today, it is open to public for factions ruby. So, um, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, so, first of all, I guess I will show you the outside and its killer design. So, oh crap, sorry. Uh, yeah, anyway, so, um, where do we get out here? Okay, uh, let me just get out of here. These blazes are really lagging it. Anyway, yeah, this is what it basically looks like. It's on bedrock layer, like if you just mine straight down a little bit. The bottom of it is built on bedrock, so it's really secure. You can't shoot from under it and stuff like that. The walls are gonna be fully watered. I'm gonna have it like open, you know, it, it's gonna look good. Um, and the full top is watered. You'd need, um, what's it called, like sand. You need to make a cannon that shoots down on top of it. Uh, please don't raid my base though. Anyway, so now if I, that's basically all it is really. I mean, there's not much more. Uh, what is this? Just jump in here. And just put this over here. Now if I jump into game mode zero, you can see that there is a lot of freaking blazes. I have five blaze spawners and stuff like that. I only have five up there and I mean this was only a few minutes of uh like freaking uh what's it called? Just AFKing, maybe what five, ten minutes, I don't really know. So obviously in servers i guess it doesn't work it like they don't spawn as fast i guess or whatever that is so yeah um and on this sword i got sharpness five and looting three like probably one of the best grinding swords it doesn't have any custom enchants because i don't know how to get custom enchants on this uh and on just a single player world and stuff like that so yeah also on archon for ruby which i will be playing it does have uh, stacked mobs and stuff like that. So yeah, tomorrow I, I'll make a fax of it and uh, yeah. So I'm not done with this video right now, but this is just like, you know, a little area. And then if I go in here, it, yeah, I mean, then I'll take a diamond. You know, you get, if you were watching, the stuff goes up really, really fast. So that's basically that. So, the outside are watered, so it wouldn't be possible to go straight through it just with TNT. You need to make a hybrid, which I don't even know how do you do, so... I mean, if I can't read it, then maybe no one else can. So, here's the real, like, strengths of it. Because, so, you know how you have a base, and it is, you know, like, or boxes or something. And you have that one, one huge box, okay, and everything's inside it, so... It's like this without these doorways and this water. So the thing is, is that like, I mean, how should I say it? You, it's really easy to get through them because there's just like a path right through here and set that, you know, it's like a walkway. There's no water, there's no doors, nothing. The strengths of this is really cool because the base is harder to get through um, to get stuff. And then for my second room, I'll keep explaining that in a minute, but for the second room, I just got a ton of gear and stuff. You know, it's like, it's going to be at my storage room, gapple room, and all that good stuff. I actually might want to grab a gapple just for fun. Nah. But yeah, it, it it's really cool. It's just like a little storage room. It's not very big, but it's watered, so it protects it from creepers. And that is what this room what these doors, water doors, are supposed to do. So, if I go into game mode, uh, this is not E, one, I turn to whatever it's called, and so, 
the thing is, you can blast through these two doors, okay? Let me grab that door real fast. It's a pretty cool base, and I don't want to wreck it. Um, yeah. <laughs> sort of. Um, anyway, so, I, I'm just going to put these two doors right there. Um, just to show you, just to make it easier. If you put, the doors are closed, you can't blast through it, because it's not Minecraft, you know, Minecraft physics and stuff. It just, it, as hard as you try, it will not... It will not just blow through, okay? So that's and oops, let me get grab that real fast. But yeah, and like factions, you still can't blow through it and stuff. So basically, this the doors are protecting your base, and I find that really cool. You know, I don't know, dude. It's really nice because I don't like I don't want someone. If you get into the base, you're basically you you got into the base. You know, I don't I don't want that to be I don't want it to be like that. So I made it, this base is made to be where, if you got into the base, good job, now you got like a wall to go through, you know, I don't, yeah, I, I think I made my point, if I didn't, you know, it's just, it's harder to get through the whole base, because what you'd have to do is have a cannon, a hybrid cannon, go through all these doors and stuff, and you know how much work that is, uh, I'm pretty sure a lot, so, you know, cause then, you, and then, yeah, like that and stuff like that. Um, one other thing you could do is you might not want it to be connected, so you might want to have like a huge gap. So you might, you, they might have to like make two or three um big cannons, hybrid cannons to shoot into all the boxes. So you could have like this one little box for storage, and then a second little box for spawners, and then iron golems. And make like four separate boxes, like ten or twelve blocks, you know, five to ten blocks away, so that they'd have to make separate cannons or make two cannons that go straight into it, you know. Like if these were two bases, okay, this was two boxes, and then these two were two boxes, the max cannons, well, the least amount of cannons you'd have to make, hybrid cannons, would be two right here or something like that, and then you'd shoot through this, the first um, door things and then you'd be able to go through uh second stuff it's a little hard to explain but you know i hope you get me um so yeah this is at bedrock layer um i made it a little nicer by just putting all bedrock um one important thing of the base one important thing to rem remember is that um first of all for like a week or something TNT and creeper eggs aren't a bit. You can't use them. Like, you can use them, but they won't explode. Explosions are not, you know, there. Uh, so, yeah, that's one thing. And the second thing is, um, if you're going to build this base, I suggest that you put bedrock, a bedrock roof on the top of it. So, you better have some IGs or something that can make you a lot of money so you can put bedrock roofs. Because if you don't put bedrock roofs, then it's, I mean, the bedrock will just really make sure that it actually stays. Because it's really easy to make a cannon that shoots directly down, probably. Well, actually, I'm not really sure. But, you know, it's, it's pretty easy. So, well, that comes from a guy who doesn't know how to build cannons. Anyway, you know, it's just not that very, it's not very hard. So, yeah. Anyway, that's sort of been it for uh, this episode of Faction, sort of. Not really an episode. It's not going to be counted as an episode. But my season two of Factions on the Archon are going to be coming out tomorrow. Well, is going to. I don't know how you say that, but Factions, uh, my second season of Factions will be coming out tomorrow, which is really cool. No, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. Move. No, 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 no. Get. Come on. Get, get, go. There we go. But, yeah, so it will be really cool to make another factions video tomorrow. I mean, this is sort of a faction video, but, uh, uh yeah. It's going to be fun to go back to the factions world. If you're asking me why I'm not playing factions now, it's just because I wanted to make a blueprint to see if this base type of base was actually going to work or not because I don't want to go and like build something and like in the wild or something uh you know so yeah um a mount mark a 
my score will be. Let's see how much XP I... Did I spell it wrong? Oh, whatever. But yeah, so it's pretty cool. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna be actually purchasing a rank tomorrow. Um, so yeah, expect me to be playing from like the afternoon to, um, I don't know. I will be on during the afternoon from like 12, you know, to whenever I play. Uh, so yeah, I'll be making daily videos until like whenever, um, until I go back to school probably. And yeah, Sky Clans isn't going anywhere. It's just gonna be put on the like the second page. You know, it's gonna be my second series. Um, so maybe every week or you know whatever it is. Uh, so yeah, don't worry. It's not going anywhere. It's still gonna be there. Um, but yeah. Also, battling PVP. I'm gonna go make a video like right now after I finish uploading this video and making a thumbnail and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah. So that's gonna be coming out. Th I'm really happy that you all like that one. Um, that battling PVP is really fun to do. I mean. But first, I just have to go hop in 1.7. So yeah, anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys like this little base uh, blueprint tour thing. Hope you guys don't use this base because I want to be the only one who does. Um, go ahead if you want to. I mean, yeah. But anyways, hope you guys hope to see you guys in factions Ruby on PVP.thearchon.net tomorrow. So. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.